<laughs> we arrived guys, the final destination of this trip, we are in Athens. It feels strange to be here in Athens, I mean, m most of the things you see from Athens is just in pictures, but I'm actually here. So, we don't have enough time to see everything. I mean, yeah, we're gonna see the Acropolis to begin with, and that's something I want to always know know more about because you always see the pic this thing in pictures and you never really go there how is it is it big is it small i have no idea i mean yeah sure i can read about it on the internet but it's not really i'm there to see it myself that's different and there's much talk about this kind of temples and other kind of things left behind from greek mythology and it's gonna be an experience i think really i think so because the when I go to Greece, I want to see these kind of things. I mean, they're well preserved, they're really awesome to watch, even if it's just a pile of rocks for many people. But uh, it says something, it's like, it's history, history coming alive. And thank you, pop culture, for just ruining everything you can with that. Uh, so many, how do you say, good movies that start out good, but might add a few things that are not really belonging in those things. But they have so much stories to tell. Also, always nice to listen to pod radio about these kind of myth myths and heroes and all that and just uh, in, trying to imagine what kind of places this is and how greece was back in the day but now i'm actually here i'm gonna see these things it's something different and i can't really believe it myself but just seeing that that whole architecture up there wow i'm so close to it so close but I'm gonna take that tomorrow instead. I mean, we came pretty late with, with, the, with the plane and right now I just wanna go out and eat something, check around. I mean, I'm pretty much really good in city, city center wise, or how you can describe that. So it feels I have a good place to stay and really reach out to all the places I need without me to take a cab or a bus or anything like that. So this is gonna be very interesting days forward now. But uh, this trip coming to an end, it felt sad at the same time. But what can you do? That's vacation for you. So I'm gonna go back to normal life soon. But until then, I'm really gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna see it as much as I can and just take it in. So hang with me, guys. I'm finally going to Acropolis today and it's just a way long step moving upward, upward, upward. But it feels amazing, you're still coming closer and closer to that thing. And on this way, you really find a lot of different things to see at the same time. It's really beautiful, well preserved, really. I don't know if you guys can start to see something, but wait if you can. As I said, getting closer and closer. And it's really beautiful up here. It's amazing. And yeah, I said that uh, before, if you watch my other videos, that I drink a lot of water and I do sun drying. And when you're here, you need to drink. Ooh. You're moving upward, it's hot, it's not a good combination. So, tip bring water. A lot of people say that, and I start to see why. Wow. So the, everything is shining, so you really need glasses for this. Uh, <laughs> it's so packed with people, you really need to come here early, otherwise you won't have a good place to stay. Uh, I'm just trying to get forward in line, but uh, it doesn't work that well. 
Oh my god, how am I gonna do this? So I am at the Temple of Zeus and I must say it's really amazing what kind of uh, temple is supposed to be. I mean sure it's just 14 pillars on one side and have two on the others. But you have supposed to have so many pillars standing there uh, as the whole building itself is supposed to be like. But is that this, this, just one pillar is huge. You feel so small when you're standing here looking at this thing. I mean why do you create these kind of big ass things? I have no idea and I don't think really people know that but the probably the biggest guy gonna have the biggest temple I guess maybe the top of that uh, Acropolis was not big enough for this guy <laughs> damn it's amazing to see wow this is something you should see if you're in Athens whatever it can be but I, we, I just went lost and during the time people have been asking me where the if I seen that I've been there I said no I looking at that myself some things are not really that good marketed on maps or uh, with signs at least so you really can get lost no matter how we know I went into a park I have no idea what, how to get out from it I don't think it was really a normal park it's just that someone left it open and people stamp it down and make roads but uh, uh, what can you do? Just walk. There's a lot of walking in this city. It's really worth it. Really worth it. Festus is still one of the most amazing temples so far because it's just one of the most complete set of temples or best preserved temples and it shows it's really amazing very high detail it's just too bad that what you can see from the outside in that the inside wasn't really that good but it's still amazing to see how these temples really uh, were well made as really they put down a lot of effort in making this temple and it's supposed to be a 
fountain or something inside that thing and it was just so amazing too bad it just doesn't work but i hope they're gonna uh, do a better recreation of everything because it, most of the things right now they're just trying to uh, fix as best as they can and i can see that up in the uh, Alcopolis is that they really trying to do their best you can see what's new and what's old and if they can make that work that's fine but I can understand why it takes so long time to do all these small things all big things for that matter because all this rock is so well preserved history wow they do a good job doing that even if it's, it's expensive to go inside no man okay how you see it I mean depends how you see it 10 euro or 20 or 30 depending on what you want but still it's just worth it I feel it's worth doing that it's worth going inside doing all see all this as much as you possibly can because if you're in Athens you should see these things it's just amazing how well preserved it is in a way even though it's just piles of rocks everywhere So I couldn't really see everything in one day and I think that uh, that's actually a good thing because there's much things to see and um, you want to take in as much as you can while you're still here so you don't do everything in just one sitting and then all of a sudden you um, have nothing else to do except maybe just eat and go outside but the trip is gonna continue we're gonna keep walking around here in these ruins and just enjoy the day as it is and I still find it enjoyable and I want to see more of it
So into the last place now to visit and I still think I got value for my money since I bought that uh, place package ticket or whatever instead of buying for each separate one. Uh, it's been a lot of walking, I can promise you that, but it's been worth doing so and uh, Athens is very beautiful when you go, go to these places, really. I mean, yeah, you have fruits everywhere, so that's kind of nice, but don't pick them, apparently. Don't, don't pick them. <laughs> oh, nice. So I'm gonna see how this is gonna go, it's not to rain, uh, need to get under the roof somewhere soon, but I've been lucky, I've been lucky so far here in Athens. There's been a lot of things to see that's made more valuable. I think it's been more valuable than Barcelona uh, and Malta too, for that matter. Uh, since I want to see things, I don't really want to just relax on the beach, but just enjoy this time I have. So it's been worth it. But I really need to get going. It's not rain. <laughs> see you guys soon. So it's time to head back home. Uh, it's a few hours left here in Athens and yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the few hours I still have. I'm gonna go out, take a bite and uh, take a stroll around the city uh, as far as I can. It's been great being here and the vacation itself has been good. Barcelona was very artistic and very interesting that way. Malta was very beautiful, a lot of blue sea and just enjoying that with the old kind of architecture from the British. And Athens itself is like a trip back in the past to all this mythology and all that kind of thing. So if you're into that, you really come, should come and see Athens. I mean, is it worth really paying to go and see these kind of things? I think so. If you really want to watch and see a few things like old stuff, you really should pay for it. Yeah, most of the things also you can stand outside looking in and take pictures, but I wouldn't say it's the same thing. Because if you're interested in it, you really should go inside and look. You can buy different kind of like, package tickets and all that. That's what we did when we went inside. It makes more value, more more value for the money if you really go and see everything. Otherwise, it would be more a loss of money. But it's been great. It's been beautiful weather. It was just tiny rain a bit there, but it stopped short after that. And uh, it's underbody has been great. <sighs> feels a shame go back to all the normal routines and all this, but same time feels great. It feels good to come home. It's nice to sleep in my own bed, have my own clothes again, and all this. So, I, it feels good. It feels good. But I hope you guys like these videos and like this whole trip in itself. It's, it's been fun for me. I hope you guys liked seeing it. And I will see you guys out there in the next video. So, take good care, guys. i see you next time.